Hello bookworms, it's Jade from Bedtime Bookworm and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here to tell you all about the books that I want to read this summer. Before we start talking about my summer TBR, let's do a quick check-in with my spring TBR. Here are all the books that I put on my spring TBR, and here are the ones that I read and the ones that I didn't read. I talked about a total of 20 books last time, and out of those I read 9. When I first saw this number I was a little surprised because I thought I'd read more from my TBR than just 9 books, but the number is a little bit misleading because what happened is that I made that video after I had read a bunch of books in March. And so when I went through and looked at all the books that I read between March and May, which was a total of 17 books, there was really only one that I wouldn't have put on this TBR, and that was Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. And if you guys saw any of the videos where I talked about that book, I really enjoyed it, so I have no regrets about that. So today I have 22 books to tell you about. Just as a reminder, the books that I talk about in this video aren't necessarily ones that I am definitely going to read in the next three months. They're just the ones that I would like to be selecting the books that I read from. So no, I will not be reading 22 books, but hopefully I don't read too many books that are not on this list. So first in this video I'm going to talk about all of the ARCs that I plan to read, and ARC stands for Advanced Reader Copies. Those are books that are not quite out yet. And then I also will talk about books that I pulled out from my TBR jar, my work book club, and then the rest of the TBR are all sequels or books that are part of series because I am trying to wrap up some series this year. Looking at my last TBR, I can see that I did really well when it came to the arcs that I needed to read, and I also did really well with my TBR jar picks. I didn't do so well when it came to all the sequels and books in a series that I was planning on getting to, so a lot of those have carried over into this TBR. So I'm going to go through each of these categories of books on my TBR. I'm going to talk about the ones that I'm most excited for first and then talk about them in descending priority I guess. <laughs> So starting with the arcs, I will start with the arc that I am currently reading. I'm currently reading Lifelike by Jay Kristoff, and this was published on May 29th, so it is already out. I just have an e-arc version of it. This one wasn't on my last TBR because when I made that video, I wasn't approved for it yet. NetGalley did one of those things where the week before the book comes out, it magically approved me to have access to it. And of course, I was in the middle of other books and I didn't get to it right away. The next arc that I would like to read is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. This one is also already out and I am really late on this one. It was published on April 24th. This is a carryover from my last TBR. I didn't get around to it. I just wasn't ever quite in the mood, but I have checked out a physical copy of this from the library and I'm hoping that's gonna like kickstart me and make me get to it soon. Another carryover from the last TBR is All the Ever Afters, The Untold Story of Cinderella's Stepmother. <laughs> this is by Danielle Teller and was released on May May 22nd. Another arc that is potentially on my list, but I'm really not that antsy to get to it, is The Gone World by Tom Sweaterleash. This was released way back on February 6th, and I have attempted to read this once, and I just wasn't in the mood for it. I decided to pause this book, and I'm just putting it on this TBR to keep it on my radar for the next time that I feel like I'm in the mood for something like this. It's like a science fiction, sort of post-apocalyptic, but at the same time it's like a mystery crime crime novel, which just sounds fascinating, but I just haven't been in the mood for something like that. Another arc that I have an e-copy of that I am super excited about, I cannot believe I got approved for this, is Pieces of Her by Karen Slaughter. I have never read any Karen Slaughter, but I have just heard so many good things about her books, and that's exactly why I requested this, because I really want to read some Karen Slaughter. I'm seeing conflicting publication dates on Goodreads. I'm not sure if it's August 9th or August 28th, but either way, I have some time before it's going to be released, which is why it's a little bit further down my arc list. And then the last arc that I'm hoping to get to this summer is Sea Fire. This is by Natalie C. Parker, and it has an expected publication date of August 28th. I actually received a physical copy of this when I went to the North Texas Teen Book Festival, and it is blurred by so many authors that I really like, and I am super excited to read it. It's like a young adult fantasy about female pirates, which sounds fantastic. Okay, so moving on to my TBR jar. I only have one TBR jar pick that is a carryover from the last TBR, and that is The Piper Sun by Melina Marchetta. I did get a copy of this out from the library, but I haven't gotten to it yet, and I'm pretty sure I have to take it back to the library, but hopefully they'll let me just check it back out again. So the other day I did pull out three new books from my TBR jar, and I'm 
honestly only excited about one of them. The one that I'm excited about is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I've wanted to read this book for a really long time and I think this is going to be the final push that I need to actually get it read. The second book that I pulled out that I am semi excited about is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I haven't read Gillian Flynn at all, but I like thrillers in general. The only reason why I'm kind of hesitant about this one is because I have seen the movie already. Typically I'm one of those weird, not normal readers who likes to watch a movie and then read the book afterwards because I usually feel like I watch the movie and I enjoy it and then I read the book and I get so much more like details out of it and I end up enjoying it more. But when when it comes to thrillers and especially a thriller like this where there's a big plot twist that I already know what it is, I feel like it really takes away from the reading experience so I'm not as excited about this and there's a chance I might not read it but there's a chance that I will read it too. And then the third book that I pulled out of my TBR jar that I'm really not that excited about anymore is Ready Player One by Ernest Cline. I don't know why I'm not excited to read this. I definitely was when it first came out and there was so much hype about it but I just I have a feeling that I'm not gonna enjoy all of the 80s commentary as much as a lot of other people did so I'm a little hesitant about that one. And then I have a book that I need to read for my work book club and this is the book club that's going to meet in July. It's a bi-monthly like we meet every other month. The second week in July we are going to meet and talk about Seven Eves by Neil Stevenson. I've never read Neil Stevenson before but I've heard a lot about him. He's the author of Snow Crash which I also haven't read but have heard a lot about and I I think there's a movie but I don't think I've seen it. But Seventies is a science fiction, I think it's like maybe not a space opera but it's set in space. Like I know there's a spaceship and something to do with genetics which kind of makes me <laughs> nervous but at the same time I work for a genetics laboratory so it's going to be a bunch of us who know a lot about genetics who are reading this so that could be fodder for some really interesting conversation depending on how realistic the genetics are <laughs> in this book. I need to start on this one soon-ish because it is a very long book. It's like at least 700 pages or something. Okay and that brings me to all of the books in a series that I would like to read. Like I said I didn't do so well in this department of my TBR from the spring so there are a lot of repeats on this list. So let's start with the one that I am currently reading that is in this category. This is a carryover from the last TBR and I'm about halfway through this book right now and that is The Fate of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. It is the third book in the Queen of the Tearling trilogy and I'm really enjoying it. So that one I know I'm going to be able to cross off in my next TBR. <laughs> and then after that my highest priority books are the next three books in the Wheel of Time series. As you probably know I am co-hosting a read-along of the series with Roya from Unicorn Hunter Books. I'll link our Goodreads group and our announcement videos so that you can check that out if this is the first time you're hearing about it. But the next three books are Lord of Chaos which is the sixth book, A Crown of Swords which is the seventh book, and A Path of Daggers which is the eighth book. In my last video I said I was going to try to read these like a month early but that did not happen and I don't foresee that happening so I'm going to be reading them during the month that we're going to talk about them and I'm also doing these really cool well cool in my opinion review and video diaries where I go pretty like in depth into spoilers for each book and talk about all the exciting things that happen in each of them. So those three books are my top priority out of this category of books on my TBR. And now I'm going to try to put in order of priority the rest of these books in a series that I'm interested in. I would say that Crooked Kingdom by Leigh Bardugo is the next highest priority for me as well as Our Dark Duet by Victoria Swab. These are both the second book in duologies that I am excited about and as soon as I read them I can mark these series as completed. So I really want to get to those. A couple more series enders that I would like to get to include Into the Bright Unknown by Ray Carson, the third book in the Gold Seer trilogy and possibly Quintara of Charin by Melina Marchetta. Maybe after I read one Melina Marchetta I'll be in the mood to read another Melina Marchetta. And then I also have The Stone of Tears by Terry Goodkind and The Well of Ascension by Brandon Sanderson. Those are both second books in series so they're not quite as high on my priority list but I do want to get to them before I forget too much about what happened in the first book because I read the first book in those series I think in January. And then last on this list <laughs> 
I have a first book in a series. Right now, a couple of my friends, Leanna from Leanna's Library and Lauren from the novel Lush are hosting a Red Rising read-along leading up to the next book that's coming out. A big part of me really wants to join them for this read-along. I want to be in on the hype on this series, especially like with new books coming out. I want to be able to read them as new releases and just like be excited with everyone else in the community about these books. But at the same time, I'm also in the middle of so many series and I'm trying to wrap so many up so it's definitely counterproductive to start another series. It is a series that at least the, like the first trilogy is already released so I can kind of binge it at the expense of not reading some of these other books in series so I don't know guys I am definitely torn about this but I'm throwing Red Rising on here because there's a chance I'm gonna read it and I want it to count as being from my TBR. <laughs> okay guys those are all 22 books that I am interested in reading in the next three months. If you guys have read any of these books or are interested in maybe buddy reading any of these books with me then let me know down in the comment section. Buddy reads help me to get books read so I am definitely open to that. If you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like bookish content. I post one to two times a week. That is all I have for now. Thank you so much for watching and until next time bookworms, keep reading. Bye. Here here are all the videos, all the videos. The ones that are lower priority as and then as I and then um an expected publication date of August 9th. Did I know that? Did I know it was August 9th? To all of the series books. Uh, okay. Blech. I'd say Crooked Kingdom by Victoria Swab. Ugh. I'd say Crooked Kingdom by, what is her name? Buddy Reads definitely helped me get things read. So I'm definitely, um, Buddy Reads definitely helped me. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Mm.